happens in January. Say that, Derek. Kind of like a game show host. Like you expect, yeah. like wrestling to start after yeah. I say it. Yeah. This wine is very. I good. like this wine bar business. This yeah, me too. <laughs> this is really nice. I'm not cold at all. <laughs> <sighs> Do we have any country music fans here? Well, um... Uh, I, uh, you know, as country music songwriters in Nashville, we often get the opportunity to go in and write... The hell's that noise? It's a fan belt or something. When it goes away, I'll, I'll, you know, I'm not going to compete with that nonsense. Okay, I'll just start. There we go. Thank you. Um, as uh, country music songwriters in Nashville, we often get the opportunity to go in and write with artists who are making records. And uh, when that happens, it's a great opportunity, you know, for you and your family. If you write a great song, the hope is they'll record it and they'll put it on the radio. You, you all know that. Well, I was, um, I was writing with a new guy. This is uh, back in about 2006 or seven. This is a new fellow who had a new deal on Capitol Records, brand new artist, made his first record. Uh, his name was Eric Church. And uh, Eric uh, was making this first record. We wrote at the same publishing company, and we, we had become friends, and so we, we, had, uh, we wrote our first song. And I came home to my wife, who's also a songwriter, and I, I told her what the, you know, what the, what the name of the song was, and and she she didn't you know she didn't say anything. She didn't say, well, that's cool, or that you know. She just kind of said, hmm. And uh, in my experience with my wife, when she says, hmm, it's not a great reaction. And uh, I said, what? And she said, well, that title. I mean, is it is it guys like me or guys like me? <laughs> I said, I don't know, and I don't, I don't know what to even make of that. But uh, I said, please don't say anything about this to Eric. I want him to actually record the song. But anyway, he, uh, he recorded the song. It was on his uh, first record. It was his third single, and uh, was a top, uh, I don't know, got to 13 or 14 on the chart. A song called Guys Like Me goes with it. Or Guys Like Me. Then there. <laughs> Greasy ball cap, like my shirt untucked. Spend Saturdays working on my truck. The irony of singing this in a poshy wine bar at this swanky uh, beachside. Uh... Anyway, just let's just pretend this is moonshine and we're all just uh, gap tooth rednecks, all right? You really forget the words and you just start over so that nobody knows. Well, they know now. <laughs> Wear a greasy ball cap. Thanks a lot. Like my shirt untucked. Spend Saturdays working on my truck. I don't like to fight, but I ain't scared to bleed. Most don't mess with a guy like me. This guy's like me. have skull rings we wear our booze to church so rough around the edges it's hard to believe that girls like you love guys like me yep. your daddy worked at the bank mine worked on cars but not that car cause by god he would have fixed whatever was wrong with that <laughs> You went to college, I pulled a graveyard You 
must have had your pick of all the trust fund types. But you came back to me and only God knows why. Cause guys like me drink too many beers on Friday after work. Our best blue jeans have skull rings. We wear our boots to church. So rough around the edges, it's hard to believe that girls like you love guys like me. Telling all our buddies we won't ever settle down. They say that's just the way we are and the way we'll always be. And God sends girls like you for guys like me. Thank God there's girls like you for guys like me. Um, when I was a, uh, a kid, I wanted to be a flight nurse, and I grew up and I was a pediatric nurse. And uh, I just happened to fall into, my dad is a songwriter, and um, he's a, been in the music business my whole life. And when I was a kid, I'd, I went the rap route and, uh, and <laughs> avoided country music at all costs. And uh, I grew up with Vern Gosden literally sitting in my living room floor. And uh, I wish I could rewind and sit there and watch instead of being in my room going, I wish they'd shut up! <laughs> um, but um, I, I, two things I never thought would happen to me in my life. I never thought that I would be sitting on a stage like this and I never thought I would get a cut by Marie Osmond. But I did. Here I am, and I here's the song that she cut. It was on the last the Donnie Marie record that they just had. Lost her grip and slipped right through her mama's arms, and the makeup still won't make it go away. And you see dyed hair, I see an eleven-year-old toe head in that salty air, trying to keep her poise. Those teenage boys were everywhere. Dad sure had fun. Scaring them away In my reflection Hidden underneath the imperfection Are the stories of my life And all oh, its lessons And I see what you can't see In my reflection See a carload full of my best friends on Friday night Staying out too late and laughing till we cry I wouldn't trade a single wrinkle for those days In my reflection Hidden underneath the imperfection Are the stories of and all its lessons And I see what you can see In my reflection I 
finally made a choice and is doing just fine on her own. And you can't look until it was a blessing. But I can see what you can't see in my reflection. Thank you.